Hello, welcome to a late breaking news video. Yeah, it's often the news here is late, but the information may be relevant to those that don't follow closely to this hobby. You know, when it comes to this hobby, I am more about the stories. The stories of how someone get into the hobby, the story of how someone create a characters. But for me, that is much more interesting than what book other people have or what book I have. It doesn't really matter, you know, but it's the story behind the books that has always fascinated me. And when I returned to this hobby over a decade ago and joined the CCC forum, one of the names that popped up a few times and mentioned a few times here and there is Ian Levine. I-A-N, Ian, I think that's how the name is supposed to be pronounced. And then Levine, L-E-V-I-N-E, -E, I think. So if you Google that, you might find some more information on the CCC forum. I'm just going by memories here. But back then, I learned that he has assembled the most complete, complete, DC collection yeah amazing and there was quite a few pictures uh, back then on the CCC forum on all the books uh, not all the books but you know he showed various pictures of his collections and it was impressive however few those pictures were so that name stuck in my mind okay for somebody that went through a lot of effort to hunt to chase to put together that kind of a collection and then about 10 years ago DC put out this massive book that come in this cardboard case the 75 years okay I I shot a video showing this book maybe back in 2010 when it came out I'm pretty sure I shot it very quickly after I receive it. It's big, it's, it's the heaviest book, the biggest book that I have in my house, regardless of any kind of books. It gotta be at least 25 pounds. Here you go. Yeah, that's the book inside that case. And in this book, the name Ian Levine was mentioned a few times because to create this big book, a lot of the image came from his collection. DC, or you know, the, the people that put this book together, Passion sent photographer over to the UK to take pictures of a lot of the books to use for this book. So his name, Ian Levine, is mentioned in this book. And Believe it or not, he is selling his collection after all of these decades. Yeah, for some people, unthinkable, right? Unthinkable. But I completely understand because I'm not the kind of collector that plan to go to the grave with the book or pass on my collection to my offspring or whoever it is. Ian is selling his, his collection. I'm not sure what's left, what's still around. I have no idea, but, but if you have not seen this video, I'm gonna put a link below, a, a, D, a, a video from the DC YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure most people probably seen it already, but for the few that miss it for whatever reason, hit check, click on the link below and you will see a discussion on this collection and where it is for sales privately. They're not auctioning it off, okay? It's, it's up for sales, but I think you need to contact Sotheby to get a catalog and, and figure out what the asking price is for each item. I don't know, okay? All I know is I saw the video a few months ago and I didn't hear a lot of discussion about it 
on, on YouTube or anywhere else. So I figure maybe some people have missed it. So I'm doing this video to highlight this incredible, most complete collection of DC through the ages. Over 40,000 books. You don't need to hear anything more from me. Just click on the link below and then click on the other link to go to Sotheby so that you can see how you can buy some of the books. Deep pocket, big spender. You might be able to get yourself an action one from the Ian Levine collection. That's it for this video of late breaking news. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.